Hey, what's going on guys? Rakeem Madison here and on today's live, I'm going to be talking about something that none of us can escape, right? And I'll get into it a little bit later, but I want to wait, you know, until a few more people hop on here and just see exactly what it is that I'm talking about, right? So I'll give it a few minutes um, for a few people to hop on. All right, so give me just a minute, guys. <clears throat> All right, so um, it looks like we got a we got somebody on here. Um, so basically, what I'm going to be talking about today, guys, if you if you're watching this right now, I want to talk about something that's so serious, right? This actually causes people to commit suicide, and you know, and it deals to a whole bunch of other other problems that you know that we have as humans, right? And what I'm talking about here today is depression and how to overcome depression without medication. Right. And the reason that I'm, I'm saying this is because I find that when people get on medication, what happens is they usually go on autopilot. They usually just become a person that's just constantly on autopilot or they're somebody who just com completely loses it. Right. Right. Because they're so addicted to the drugs that they're on. Now, this is not for everyone, but there are some people who get on these drugs and then they just become addicted to it. So it becomes a problem for them them more or less than trying to help them overcome depression, right? So I'm going to be giving you five tips on how to overcome depression without medication, right? So um, I see a few people hopping on. Looks like we got Caitlin Sierra. We got Robert Huey. We got Boots Baby. How you guys doing? Just want to give some value. Um, if, you, if you know somebody who's, you know, dealing with depression, I highly recommend that you share this. So, you know, this can get out to other people so it'll help other people because there are some people in this world who feel trapped, right? So, for example, if you're working a job, right, and you have a boss mm -hmm. that is constantly, you know, badgering you or nitpicking you or, you know what I mean? Sometimes that can be good, right, where you have somebody who's constantly trying to lift you up and push you. But if you have somebody, a, a boss where you feel trapped, right? You've already feel depressed. And then you got this person over you just beating you. You almost feel trapped, right? So I'm going to go ahead and give you five tips on how to overcome depression without uh, medication. So the first tip that I have is to express your feelings, right? Express them. It's okay to express your feelings, right? Our kids do it all the time, right? It's okay because you have to understand that suppression is depression, right? So if you keep things in all the time, what's going to happen, right? And and I'm I, I, I'm talking to you from experience, right? If you keep things in all the time, all that's going to happen, you're going to keep pushing it down, but eventually your cup is going to become full. Right. And eventually you're just going to explode. Right. You're just going to let out all your emotion and that may cause more harm than you than good. Right. So that's the first one. Like you have to get to a point where you just speak your mind and you don't you don't care about sugarcoating it. Right. Because I can tell you uh, some time ago, that's all I would do. My mom would tell me about it. Right. And other people would tell me, like, don't sugarcoat it. Right. Just express your feelings. Right. Become like an alpha male or an alpha female. Right. They speak their feelings no matter how a person feels. Now, that may be good and that may be bad sometimes, but they let their feelings out. Right. What's going on, uh, Eddie? What's going on, Brian Malinga? Just trying to give some value on, you know, how to overcome depression without actually having to, you know, take any kind of medication. All right. So. That was uh, the number one way on how to uh, overcome depression without medication. Now, the number two way on how to overcome uh, depression without medication is you want to write down how you feel each and every single day. So get you a journal, invest in like a little journal, right? It's not that expensive at all. Just invest in a journal, or a little pad that you have. Write down how you feel every single day. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to help you determine what makes you the most depressed versus what makes you the less depressed. Right. So this way you can kind of understand you'll you'll come to know uh, your feelings. Right. And what triggers these certain things. Hey, what's going on, uh, Kimberly 
Simone Hills. Been a while since um, you know, we connected or whatever. Um, but I'm just talking about depression, right? I'm talking about how to overcome depression, right? Without medication or any drugs or anything like that, because those things can be addictive. All right. So the number that, the number two thing was to write down how you feel each and every single day, right? And that's going to help you um, determine what makes you the most depressed and what makes you the less, the least depressed. Right. So the number three thing on how to overcome depression without medication is never give yourself a label. Right. So basically anything that comes after the words I am right, that is what you will become. Right. So when you say I am depressed, I am anything after I am, that's what you'll become. So if you say I am a failure, that's what you'll become a failure. If those are two powerful words that have a, uh, <laughs> a lot of meaning, right? And when you say them, you're just, you're, 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 you're uh, I, I don't want to say like your subconscious mind, but basically that's what you're telling yourself you are. So you're putting a label on yourself, right? So that was the number three way, right? Never give yourself a label. Hey, what's going on, Kaya Smith? Good to see you on here. I haven't really seen your name, but I'm good to see that you're on here watching this. All right, so um, the number four way on how to overcome depression without medication is you want to start working your body out more, right? Now, you may say, like, if somebody's really depressed, they're not really going to have the motivation to go and work out. But when you work out, I'm going to be honest, when, when, when I was going through a certain amount of depression and, and most times my depression was, you know, over relationships, you know, earlier on in my life. Right. But I found that when when I was going through that depression, when I was working out, I was feeling good. Right. I, I was feeling I was feeling a whole lot better. And my mind wasn't focused on what I was going through at the time. It was more focused on, you know, uh, you know, it, improving my body, right? Improving how my body, like my physical physique actually looks. And I was more focused on that than what I was actually going through, right? So that definitely helped me out. Now, that's the number four thing. Now, the number five thing, right? You may not think about this, but this is so true, right? Food correlates to your mood, right? So, so basically, how you feel determines what you will eat, right? So just take, for example, like when we watch the movies, even in real life, I've seen it, right? Where when we're going through something, we're depressed, we eat things that are bad for us, right? We eat things that are not going to be beneficial at all, right? And so if you think about it like this, food is your mood. So that pretty much means that health is wealth. So what you eat it's, it will determine your feelings, right? Or pretty much the other way around. What you feel will determine what you eat. So if you feel bad, guess what you're going to eat? You're going to eat junk. You're going to eat things that are not good for you. Now, if you are feeling good, like you, you worked out, you know, you sweat, you worked up a sweat, like you, you built up uh, all the serotonin, basically what's going to happen is you're going to eat good things because you feel good. I don't know if you ever noticed that. If you're on here watching right now, maybe you've noticed that, but that's something that I've definitely noticed. It's just when you feel good, you eat good. But when you feel like crap, guess what? You eat like crap, right? So I believe that those five tips that I just gave on how to overcome depression without medication will definitely help you out. Right. They will definitely help you out because they've helped me out. Hey, what's going on, Sean? Man, I'm just on here talking about, uh, you know, how to overcome depression without medication, brother, because, you know, I it, it's a sad thing to see when people get addicted to certain um, drugs and like in our, in our depressions because they don't really know how to deal, you know, with what they're going through. So I just pretty much just gave five you know, tips on how to overcome depression without that, uh, without medication. And just to recap for the people that's just hopping on. Hey, what's going on, Steven, man? Good to see you on here. What's going on, Nadria, Dominique? Haven't seen you in a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm just talking about depression. And I'll just recap for the people that just got on here, right? So um, the first thing that I talked about is 
expressing your feelings, right? Depression is, 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 you have to understand that suppression is depression, right? So when you keep things in all the time, eventually it's going to get to a point where you're just going to explode, right? You're not going to really know how to, uh, you know, control your feelings, right? And then the second thing was to write down how you feel each and every day. Because when you do this, it's going to help you to, de to determine what it, it's going to help you to determine what makes you the most depressed versus what makes you the least depressed, right? And that's going to help you because like, like I said, it's definitely helped me along the way to just start writing down my feelings to become one with myself, right? Being, becoming, you know, more self-aware. It's like we got somebody just hit the like button, drop a few likes if you get some value from this. All right. And then the third thing was never give yourself a label, right? So when you give yourself a label, when you say I am, right, anything that comes after that I am is what you will become, right? So never say I am so depressed. I am depressed, right? You're just giving yourself a label, right? And then the fourth thing was start working out more, right? When I was going through my depression, the thing that I did the most was work out. It, it was to a point where I was working out two times a day, right? Because that helped me get through what it is that I was going through in my life, right? So, and then the last thing was food correlates to your mood, right? Hey, what's going on, uh, Douglas Hire? What's going on, man? Good to see you on here. I'm um, just talking about depression. Um, and then the last thing that, you know, I was talking about is just food, right? How you feel would determine what you eat. So if you feel like crap, you're going to eat crap, right? Like fast food, sugars, and all this other stuff, right? Now, I won't say that I'm perfect, right? I, I do eat those things from time to time because, you know, that's just normal, right? And, but if you do feel good, what will happen is that you will eat good, right? So that was the five tips on how to overcome depression without motor, uh, medication. So if you did get value from this, go ahead and just hit the like button, drop me a comment, let me know what it is, you know, how it is that you felt about what I what I've shared here today. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next live, my friend. Peace.